Hello, 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 and welcome to my latest video. Um, you're all going to be shocked because this is the third video that you're going to have seen within about a week. I'm back on being able to get videos done. Um, this one is a rainbow star. I've done a few of these. I'm just trying to get one of the other videos actually to upload. It's not working, so... I've gone with this one for today instead. Um, as you can see, I manually created the shape, and I'm doing a first for me, a all metallic base. Um, so this one is going to be silver with flecks of gold in there, which is going to be very fun. Um, so as I say, I'm back on schedule getting videos out. During Pride Month, there are going to be most of these are going to be videos based on the Pride flags, so I've done a lot of rainbow videos. I've got a lot of other ones around the various different Pride flags, and I'm just going to get them out during Pride Month. I had planned to get um, a few other ones out, but it won't happen. And then I have a rather large backlog of other videos going out. Um, the Saturday videos, so the ones like this, are going to be a mix of the Backlog Rainbow ones and more up-to-date ones, so at least I've got those gone. Um, once again, with these, um, I'm going, say once again, um, with this one I'm using black to outline the shape, um, and I'm going rainbow but I am learning from the previous video that hopefully you will see if I manage to get it uploaded. Um, for some reason, my editor's refusing to... My video editing software, rather, is refusing to see it. So with this one, I've got um, two different colours. So the rainbow colours, but I've sorted them into the warm and the colder colours. So the colder colours are purple, blue and green, and I've got two shades of each of those um, colours, and then a metallic in those colours as well. Um, and then the warmer colours, so red, orange, and yellow, I've got those separately as well. Um, so I'm layering them up, um, in reverse order apparently because I did the others purple through to green but in this case I'm doing it yellow through to orange for these ones and then I'm just going to blow them out and see where we get to. Um, so this is loosely based on the pride flag because I've got multiple shades of some colours in here um, which was of course created by Gilbert Baker many many years ago as a way for us to identify and celebrate ourselves. So happy Pride Month to anyone that is celebrating. Um, and to anyone that isn't celebrating and thinks that it's awful that we exist, I'm a gay artist. Unrepentant trans ally. And this probably isn't the place for you if you don't like that, so I'd move along now if I were you, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, about to blow the blow this out. I've just used the heat wand to burst some of the air bubbles, which will mean that I won't inadvertently create cells where I don't want them, and also hopefully not get the little pinpricks where sometimes the bare canvas shows through. And, yeah, this is the first time I'm trying... I've split the colours like this on a shape as complex as this. Um, actually, I think it's the first time I've split the colours like this at all. And it has worked, as you can see. And, yeah, just going to carry on blowing the colours out and seeing what the composition gets like. Um, and to be honest, I'm impressed that I managed to get a star shape, considering I, I, I hand drew the shape. And you can see from that shape, it's not exactly a 
proper five points. <laughs> um, and this is also the technique. It's a technique that I've developed myself um, that I call the hollow centre dodge pour. So I keep the centre free of colour and then we'll put other colour in to create the shape that I want normally. It didn't quite work out with this one as intended, but it's the first time I've tried it with the star, to be fair. Well, it's only the second time I've done it with this particular technique with the star. I'm using the uh, airbrush there. No paint in it, just it creates a smaller jet of air that's um, easier controlled. And I'm not having to worry about the trailing cable there either. Um, just creating the wispy effects around the side. That, if you see the first one of these, I had a lot of those on that. I loved it. And that's what I'm trying to replicate on here. I absolutely love how this is going and that the base is coming together as I want. Um... Here's where I went a bit, oh, let's see if I can just put all my special colours in together and see the iridescent colours that I've got and see what we get to create a centre with those. Um, yeah. I should have gone with my original plan, which was to have a silver or gold centre and just come back when it was dried to create the shape properly. But I didn't, so I'm working with the airbrush to create a centre to the piece. This is a, it's a creative process. This is an experimental piece um, that I did uh, beginning of the year, I think. Yeah, it would have been, actually no, last year, between Christmas and New Year. And... I'm looking at the composition while I'm adjusting it, making sure it's not going to um, levelling the canvas off as I had it precariously balanced as it's just the exact size that I can get on the trays that I use. But, yeah, it's... Um, it's fun. Uh... So I'm just making sure I'm going around the bottom there so that there's no weight dragging the paint off of the canvas. And then just finger painting in some details from the middle because it looks a bit chaotic. And just trying to create the shape of the star in the middle with the paint that I've got on the canvas. And you can see it's it, it it's going in a way, and I'm looking at the composition. I'm not really happy with it, so there is a lot of fiddling on this. So once again, coming in with the heat wand, just trying to blow some colours around a little bit, see if I can make it work a bit better, and then... Coming back with the spray bottle, which is a mixture of um, washing up liquid, so dish soap and water. And just seeing if I can get this to work a bit better. Heat wand comes in after you've used the um, soap solution to burst the bubbles. What the soap does is it... Um, shocks the surface tension so the various paint densities can come into play which means sometimes some colors will rise through the other layers of paint it gives some really nice um effects a lot of my paintings actually are finished with that um i'm erming a lot on this one problem with having taken time out because life was a bit more hectic is yeah, I, 
I'm, I'm doing the voiceover on videos that are very old, so I cannot remember all the details, and I didn't make a note of what the paints were, so I'm not going to put in the description what the paint colours were. Um, so I'm coming in now with some orange, because the orange has kind of been counterbalanced out, and I'm trying to... Um, balance out so you will have the blues and the purples going into the reds and the orange and the yellow and then on the other side of the half of the point of the star you've got the yellow red and orange going into the blues and the purple so it kind of the colors flip sides of the point which when you see it, you see it. It does make it slightly chaotic overall, but I do like this picture. I absolutely love how this turned out in the end. It looks amazing and fantastic and gorgeous and all of those other words. And considering it's the first time that I had used an all-metallic base turned out a lot better than I expected. Um, but as you can see, there was a lot of fiddling. This video lasted forever and was done at like two in the morning. But thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and join me again in a few days for the next video. Bye-bye!